You've heard of drought, a prolonged period of low rainfall leading to a shortage of water. We've been dealing with it for decades locally. But have you heard of snow drought when there is abnormally low snowpack? Some are now raising the alarm that's happening this winter. In fact, all major regions have below average snowpack right now, including the Colorado Basin, the source of our water here in southern Nevada. The upper Colorado has just 66% of average, while the lower basin has just 44%. It's not good news for the reservoirs downstream, which have been facing trouble for some time. Right now, Lake Mead sits at just 33 percent, while Lake Powell is at just about 26 percent. And in the past year, Powell has actually dropped by about 32 feet. As I've reported, water sharing agreements for the Colorado River expire later this year, and negotiators from the seven basin states, including Nevada, have still not come up with a deal. But there has been some progress federally. The Bureau of Reclamation released its proposal for the resource earlier this month, providing several alternative routes for management. While the menu is, is big and, and good, um, the opportunity to select from it is, is limited because the seven states have not reached an agreement. And so uh, it makes me um, really hope that the seven states do reach an agreement ASAP so that we can start picking and choosing from that menu of options. Public comment is now open on the document. If you want to check it out, head to our website at ktnv.com slash Colorado River. Fair warning, it's a pretty technical read and negotiations will continue to go on behind the scenes until February 14th. That's when we will truly know what direction we're headed with the security of this water source. And there are some fundamental challenges that they're facing uh, between the upper uh, states of Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, Wyoming, and the lower basin states, California, Arizona, and Nevada. And those fundamental disagreements have to do with who's going to cut their water use, when, and whether that's going to be mandatory or voluntary. As I've reported, Nevada has some built-in security to the crisis. I got in touch with the Water Authority this past week and learned in 2025, Southern Nevada used around 198,000 acre feet of Colorado water. That's a 10% reduction compared to 2024. So far, this winter has been on the warm and dry side, and it's these sort of conditions that are projected to become more frequent in the years to come due to climate change, making these water management Management decisions increasingly important for the short term and the long term. For now, reporting in studio, I'm Geneva Zoltek.